Governor Rick Perry is back home after more than a week in the campaign trail. Perry started his cross-country tour in South Carolina last Saturday. Also spent a lot of time in Iowa and New Hampshire. But today, his focus is on Austin, where he just wrapped up an appearance at Abel's on the Lake. Our Jacqueline Inglaze is at Abel's with more on Perry's remarks. David, Governor Perry and his wife, Anita, made a very quick appearance here today. They were in and out the door in probably under five minutes, but when Perry took to the stage, he chose to talk about the economy, specifically the need to bring more jobs to people across the country. Thank you for turning out. Now, Governor Perry was met with the cheers of about 250 of his supporters when he walked into Abel's a little after five this evening. Now, Perry's wife, Anita, first took the stage and, and spoke about how they met voters in South Carolina and across the eastern seaboard. Now, the governor had a narrower focus with his message, and that was the economic state of America, and he even broke out his slogan, let's get America working again. Now, he cited Texas as a state that has defied the odds in the economic downturn, actually having a higher credit rating and increasing the number of jobs. He says this is something he would bring to America should he be elected president. The fact is there's one in six work-eligible Americans who cannot find a full-time job. Mr. President, that is not an economic recovery. That is an economic disaster. We cannot have four more years of these high unemployment rates, these failed stimulus, these record debts, this poor credit. It's time for a change. Now, the governor didn't take any time to field any questions from the media. Instead, he worked his way around the crowd, shaking hands and taking pictures. Live at Abel's on the Lake, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News. Well, about 250 supporters met the governor at Abel's on the Lake. They're all pretty excited to see him back in town after his campaign trip. These supporters say they want Perry in the White House. Well, jobs, jobs, and more jobs. America needs them. Also, the contrasting of failed leadership is just despicable what's going on in D.C. and nationally. We, we unfortunately elected a leader who's a failure. Rick Perry is a proven leader. You know, I just think he's a, uh, a good person as an individual. I like him as a person, number one. And I just think he's genuine. He's a real Texan, and I'm proud, you know, to know him. And uh, I just think he'd be great. For more information on Perry's run for the White House, you can always log on to KXAN.com and then just scroll down to our section called Presidential Election 2012.